The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darks. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Darkspawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. It's been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Greetings. I have lost concentration. How do you do? Greetings. Greetings. Charmed, I'm sure. Ah, my spell!
For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyeva, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Arlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. Though we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? You remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. Since your brother is leading our forces south and I'm going with the Arl, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Now, that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Kuzland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. Not permanently, I fear. Without their warning of the Darkspawn rising now, half the nation could have been overrun before we'd had a chance to react. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the South. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? Yes, you do. Duncan is an honored guest, and it's your duty to make him welcome here. Is that clear? In the meantime, find Fergus, and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt. Spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Of course. Good evening, my lord.
There you are. Your mother told me the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Yes, I saw the Isle arrive. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. Your mother disagrees. She insists you collect the dog, and quickly. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. Your mother insists that you take care of this now. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Your mother was quite insistent, and I fear her more than you. Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Good evening, my lord. And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my son, along with Sir Gilmore. Tell me, Sir Gilmore, has my pup collared that dog yet? Not just yet, your ladyship. Darling, do take care of that. That malodorous hound of yours is an excellent protector, but he drives Nan to distraction. I'm not asking you to travel to the moon. The kitchen is just around the corner. Sir Gilmore, see that it gets done. As your ladyship commands. Good. With any luck, I'll be able to feed my guests before the end of next week. Darling, you remember Lady Landra? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Dyron. I believe you two sparred in the last tourney. And you beat me handily, as I recall. It's good to see you again, my lord. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do say something, dear. It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. You can go to the kitchen and deal with your hound. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dyron, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. Sir Gilmore. I can't do that. We'd best get to the kitchens before Nan decides to up and leave, don't you think? You know what your mother would say. Bloody mutt out of the larder. But, mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way.
Oh, look at that mess. How did he even get in here? It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, do you hear that? Bet you I could kill it in two blows. All right, all right. <laughs> Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? I'll get on it. Show them no mercy! Now is better than later. Sorry, am I too quick for you? Ready! Giant rats? It's like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. <coughs> He's certainly done the castle a favour by rooting them out. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. What? Rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then, take these port bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. I can't do that. I can't do that. Is there really going to be a war, Papa? Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. Stay. I'd like to say farewell. If it's any consolation, I'm sure I'll freeze in the southern rain and be completely jealous of you up here, warm and safe. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. I wish you could come. It'll be tiring killing all those darkspawn myself. Surely your father would not place both his heirs in danger? Mother and father have been fighting about it for days. It's too bad. I could have used you at my side. 
Then the Arl's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. <sighs> well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to be ahead, so little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. And miss having both my children in one place before I leave? Not likely. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Rice, maker's breath. I swear it's like living with a pack of small boys. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her brother, won't you? Oh good. How thrilling to know I'm so well taken care of. <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. under attack! <laughs> a ladder so you can get off my back when you want. now better than later i'll get on it i'll get on it got it no now better than later can i get you a ladder so you can get off my back got it now better than later i'll get on it got it now better than later can i get you a ladder so you can get off my back i'll get on it for this got it can i get you a ladder so you can get off my back darling I heard fighting outside and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? A scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howl's men. Why would they attack us? You don't think Howl's men were delayed? On purpose? That bastard. I'll cut his lying throat myself. Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. We must find him. I am no Orlesian wallflower. Give me a sword and I'll use it. Now let's go.
We must go downstairs and find out what's happening. Perhaps we can salvage some things here, darling. Some of your father's belongings are in that trunk. I can't do that. No! My little Oren! What manner of fiend slaughters innocence? How is not even taking hostages? He means to kill all of us. Oh, poor fuckers. Let's go, I don't want to see this. Now, better than later. They won't know what hit them. Here they are! I'll get you a ladder so you can get off my back. I'll get on it. Got it. I'll get on it. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Now is better than later. If that is what you wish. We will not be defeated! Can you hear the fighting? Howl's men must be everywhere. The front gates! That's where your father must be. If Howl's men are inside, they must already control the castle. We must use the servants' entry in the larder to escape. Do you hear me? Then let us be swift. <laughs> 